Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to the GHQ store. We're trying something new a little bit here. We uh, decided to just kind of pull some stuff off our shelves and take a little bit closer look at a kit that has been around for a little while, but is still recently new to the Brick Mania lineup, and that is the M113 Armored Personnel Carrier, and it's multiple different yeah, variants. We've got that are, quite a few different variants here. Right, exactly. Figure pack so with let's, start with the, let's start with the original model. Yes. So it, from what you guys have known, and you guys have probably seen this in, in multiple movies, so the M113 APC was mainly used in Vietnam. Uh, it was actually introduced in April of 1962. Um, it was kind of like a so, some, something to get troops from point A to point B but without having to have some sort of huge artillery firepower, just enough basically to protect the vehicle itself but also make a difference in the field and then it was uh, it was well equipped to handle anything that, uh, you know, something like a jungle terrain or uh, really any sort of terrain, urban or otherwise, um, could throw at it. Uh, it you know kind of had a boxy shape to it because it was supposed to hold pretty much the maximum amount of crew members that it could um, so it was it was utilized throughout that entire war and uh, it was get it sorry <laughs> <laughs> there we go sorry yeah so it, you know it was it was a it was a integral part of the uh, armed forces uh, assets at that time uh, for Vietnam anyways. Uh, so this is the base model we have here. This is just the M113 APC. A um, lot of cool functions to it, like Landon was kind of going through there, minus the, the stuck hatch. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but there's a, you know, there's a cool uh, interior to it, so you can fit kind of your whole crew in there. Um, and then there's also some hatches on the tops and, and sides and, and front even for, for going into water and all that kind of stuff. But then what's really cool about this is it is kind of one of the modular Brickmania models and so you can build from there. Um, and this one actually, the nice thing about this is this one, uh, at the time of this video anyways, is currently available on Brickmania.com. So if you haven't picked one of these up yet, that's a, a unique opportunity to be able to do that as well. And then also back uh, is this ACAV. Uh, add-on pack, which is kind of just adds a little bit more artillery to it. Still has a lot of the same functions and doesn't require too much of a rebuild in order for you to to modify the model that way. But it uh, it definitely has a lot of cool features and, and brings out a lot different look uh, in the model. And then it comes with an additional sticker pack as well, uh, so you can add some you know cool. Yeah sayings and other kind of graffiti that they would have put on that thing there as well. Um, and then the, the, to complete this add-on, you need that, and then you also need the ACAV crew and pack a, over does that, that comes with this one, doesn't it? Or? No, no, so no, 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 sorry, separately. Yeah, so the ACAV add-on pack is the add-on pack for the M113, and then separate from that, you can pick up the crew pack, which is there over there. Um, so you want to run through those figures sure, real sure. quick? So, so um, man, we got uh, a representation of um, just a whole bunch of different kind of guys from um, that I thought represented that era pretty well. Um, just different iconic features. Um, uh, just sort of, as, as I was going through photographs, I just noticed like everybody's kind of wearing something a little bit different and, and um, they're just young guys out in the field, um, kind of, you know, uh, I'm sure they're bored to death sometimes and I'm sure they're scared to death sometimes. It was a crazy, crazy war. Um, but there's lots of just different uh, iconic pieces here. We got bandolier going across here, um, the flak jackets of course, you got your, your um, com just the whole combat uniform, uh, all of that olive drab color, super iconic. Um, Cut that flashlight with a little red cap on mm -hmm. there. Um, I love the uh, the glasses there, the uh, the goggles, right? Um, another iconic thing of that era, I thought. Um, and so just you know, a full crew decked out, printed all the way around. Um, I just, it's kind of cool you could maybe come up with a story in your head or... Yeah, right. I think the coolest thing about this pack <laughs> is that, you know, you, you may have all gotten off the plane or helicopter, however you got to Vietnam, dressed the exact same, but after a couple of years in the bush, uh, you were pretty much using whatever uniform you had left right. slash whatever gear you could get your hands on. And so this really captures kind of like a... You know they've been in country for a little while, and, and this is this is how right. they look now, and so that's that's pretty cool. And this is, I mean, these are the vehicles that these guys would have been assigned to, and pretty much rode in until until the end of it, until they either went home or you know went home a different way. So right. that was that was kind of the way it was. Uh, we have two other add-ons uh, here as well. This is the I got to get the M130 163 Vulcan Air Defense System. This is actually the first time that Brickmania ever featured the uh, 3D printed barrel uh, that we have on this thing too, which now we have in a red hot yeah. edition, which is super super cool, kind of adds a little extra flair to it, but this is a, this was a really cool add-on uh, that has returned, I think, a couple of times. Uh, you can notice from the original model, it kind of it kind of builds out to the side a little mm -hmm. bit more, so there's a little bit more of a rebuild going on with this one, um, but other than that, it, it, it's still kind of the same, similar base model, but then once again with that really, really cool Vulcan air descent. Uh, and that's cool that, that uh, it, the radar tracks with the... Uh, with the gun, yeah, look at that. Just turn that radar moves the gun. I love that play feature. It's simple, but man, it works. Yeah. Yeah. 
favor. And do yourself a favor and get yourself a Red Hot Edition because then it looks like you're in the heat of battle. <laughs> so that looks awesome. Yes. Uh, and then finally, we have the M557 uh, Command Unit. So this one, let's see if I can do this here. Yes, I can. I knew it was going to be easy. <laughs> so the cool thing about this one uh, is that the rebuild involves redoing, oh, the rebuild involves redoing that interior. Um, and they already have a pretty big interior, but then this one you get some more of uh, Slam's little Easter eggs on, sure. on his maps and stuff like that here. Uh, and then they built the, what do they call that, the, the thing you look through? Paris, Periscope. Periscope, yeah. So they, they kind of built that down in there too, and then this would have been you know the, the, the top unit that goes on there. And so that, as you can tell from the, uh, from the original one, is also a little bit bigger. So a bit more of a rebuild going on with that one, but you get the cool interior, and then like you saw, you know, removing it is super easy, and so that makes it a really, really playable mm -hmm. model. So these are all the variants of the Brickmania M113. Yeah. Once again, the original M113, the ACAV add-on pack, and the ACAV crew pack are, at the time of this video anyways, available online at brickmania.com. Otherwise, you will see these coming back in the future as well. Um, so let us know in the comments if you like this. Once again, we just had some extra time and decided to take another look at these because we think they're awesome. Um, and so let us know if you thought it was awesome as well. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll have a little bit more content here from uh, Brickmania TV.